Hi, I felt led to make a video just to share my heart. I want to make an encouraging video, but really I just want to be obedient to the Lord and share whatever He's telling me to say. And what He's telling me is that this is the most wicked, evil generation probably in the history of mankind, maybe besides the generation right before Noah was rescued. And it's gotten really, really tough. And it's just really, really tough for the sons and daughters of the one true God to still be here. He surely does sustain us. He surely does help us. But staying awake has a price. Staying awake and truly awake and alert has a price. It has this suffering that we are enduring, being in this place that is resembling more and more a hellhole that it is becoming, the hellhole that it is becoming. I don't know if this will encourage someone or not. Maybe just to know if you're hurting if you're suffering, if you're struggling, like so many of us are, like I am, like my daughter is, like God's sons and daughters are, to know, to speak what we're truly thinking and feeling, to speak it out. That it is very hard to live in a world where very little, very so very little is what it seems, where deception rules and I wonder those that are really happy all the time if they're even like spiritually awake how can you be happy all the time in this dark place I know there are moments of happiness and seasons and the Lord does sustain us and refresh us I'm not saying that there are never tastes of it but it's getting worse and darker and I want to encourage everyone to just keep drawing really close to the Lord. To lift up your heads because our redemption does draw nigh. And some are truly not ready. Some ha do not have oil in their lamps. And the bridegroom's coming. He's coming. Either way. We need to be true and faithful to him, whatever our destiny is, whatever we have, whatever we have sown for. And I'm just so glad the king is coming. And we will wait. We will wait, but I really don't think he'll tarry much longer, even though it seems like he's tarrying. I, I personally can't see it being any more any later watch in the night than it, than it is. Uh, I personally can't. So I pray for my true brothers and sisters that the Lord will sustain you because he promised to, that you draw close to his word. And, um, yeah, don't make your home in this earth because this earth is about to burn. It's just, it's just the way it is. God is not going to put up with everything that's happening much longer. He's just not. So don't make your home in this earth. Because our citizenship is in heaven. That's what the scripture says. Amen.